usually once we have the, the with the basic awareness, once we are ready and sure that the robot is tracking someone, we are doing additional things. At this point, I just wanted to give you the feeling the robot was alive, looking at you, and that was all. So when I start my application, here is what is happening. Then something else was happening thanks to this new input that I created, and that is going to trigger then what is the core for us of our application, which is this custom box that is a dialogue. I'm going to show you what it means. And so the robot was waiting for me before starting to tap on his head. So if I do it. Hi, Montreal. I'm Pepper. It's a pleasure to be with you today. You can see that's exactly what you heard before. So I was talking about dialogue. And the dialogue is definitely something that is really, really important for us. So the way the dialogue is built for us, the basic structure is to say with this U and the two dots that I'm declaring a rule between uh, brackets uh, here we have what the human is supposed to say what the robot is tracking and after this the other part is what the robot is going to say so here instead of tracking something I would say myself it's tracking an event that is on start so the, when I start the application this is the first thing the robot is going to say without waiting for any uh, input from my side I won't try then, as you can see, the robot was waiting for me here to say, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Okay, Nicholas. I'll talk a bit about myself. I'm just about 1.20 meters tall and a little under 30 okay, kilos. I have touch sensors on my head. Each of my hands. And inertial sensors in my chest and legs to help me keep my balance. I can detect and avoid obstacles using the sonar. Laser and bump sensors built into my legs and move around using my three omnidirectional wheels. So, despite all these great features, I still have enough power to be active for 12 hours at a time. Uh, so what's interesting here is to notice that uh, I can write the things that the robot is going to say, but I can also uh, start animations. Here, that was the greeting. Uh, I can also uh, have poses and things like that. So we have a, a syntax that we are providing that allows you to write all this dialogue with robot. The things that are getting a, a bit more interesting is that here the robot is just uh, recognizing the sentence, for example, who are you? But I could have different way. Oh, don't start it again. Have a break. Have a kid cat. So it's going to rest uh, with this sentence. Uh, so I, I could ask the question in another way is still a piece of plastic, but it gives you the feeling he's more intelligent and that's an interesting interaction that you are having because it's something that's smarter than what you were thinking maybe at first. So for us, this is one of the important elements. Uh, I'm just unlocking my computer. <laughs> 